Hello, everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from Waiwa, Hawaii, and welcome to my Sunday uh, tarot reading time. And I'm going to be spending um, the next few minutes uh, doing a reading for this coming week, and this is intended for uh, for the week of uh, January 16th until uh, the 22nd. So this is a full week of uh, readings, and Hopefully the cards that I drew will help uh, guide you throughout the week and um, give you a heads up on things that may be coming up for you uh, in your workplace or in your relationship as well as uh, career and finances, okay? And if any of these cards uh, do show up, um, I'll make sure that I'll um, advise you folks about these uh, these things, okay? So I uh, the process, I drew five cards, five cards, and this is a general reading. And um, so let's proceed from there, okay? The first card that I drew for this uh, for tomorrow is uh, the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, as you can see, is uh, staffs flying through the air, okay? And um, anything that's flying through the air, you're talking about movement and change. And not only movement, but uh, fast-paced moving um, movement. So if there's going to be changes that are coming up in uh, your life, it's going to be fast, okay? Quick. And um, also, this is um, a sign to... Um, if you have to make decisions, uh, make sure you strike while the iron is hot because the opportunity will, um, if you don't act quickly, things will pass by, okay? So that's the meaning behind the eight of uh, eight of wands. So uh, anything in your workplace or relationships that requires, uh, you know, uh, your attention, <laughs> immediate attention, take care of it, okay? and do it now, all right? The second card that I drew was another Wands, but this one is the Seven of Wands. And as you can see, the individual is standing their ground. And this is exactly what this card means. Um, you'll be faced with challenges, okay? And uh, sometimes it can, these challenges are gonna be uh, self-imposed. Other times it's dealing with work or family issues. And uh, so this card tells you to stand your ground, okay? Don't let other people push you around. Um, if there's something that you believe in, you need to stand your ground and protect your rights, okay? Um, don't let people believe for that, okay? And um, so also it's a reminder that uh, if you're in business, uh, it's a competitive field. So don't let your competitors bully you around and push you around. Time to stand your ground. Show how uh, show your competitors how unique you are, okay? And add value. Um, also, your responsibilities may feel overwhelmed. And in order to uh, get rid of this uh, feeling of over, over, uh, being overwhelmed, you need to take care of business or delegate. Uh, delegate okay the third card that i drew was uh the six of cups and this is often seen as a, a nostalgia card and this is where people begin to kind of like think about the old days how good things were in the past and uh you know how, how uh, old friends may uh come back into your mind um, people that we knew from a, from a long time ago may be uh, re-entering our lives, and it brings back uh, very, very fond memories of the past. And so that's one meaning of this card. The other side of it is that, um, you know, holding on to issues that, um, that were generated from a long time ago, especially issues um that bother us and drag us down we need to let it go okay so that's a reminder from the uh nostalgia card okay um peace <laughs> and the next card that i got 
was the um, Queen of Swords. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, Queen of Swords. And this is the Queen of Swords. And this card is about honesty and fairness. Okay. And uh, the Queen of Swords is an embodiment of uh, love and loyalty and being completely honest, okay? So uh, in your business dealings or dealing with other people or friends and family members, it's a reminder that honesty is the best policy, right? Um, and if people cannot handle your honesty, then uh, that's their problem. <laughs> but uh, just remember to be uh, honest and fair in the things that you do and you shouldn't go wrong. The final card that I drew, the fifth card, is the Ace of Cups, and uh, the Page of Cups, I'm sorry. And if you take a look at this, uh, there's a fish in a cup, and this is a young uh, man. The page often uh, talks about a new beginning or a new direction that you're heading in. And this is a very playful card, <laughs> okay? It's challenging you to kind of like, um, cut loose, okay, and um, <laughs> allow your feelings to show, okay, and don't be afraid, be childlike, um, don't be afraid to play, and relax, okay, so the five, uh, five cards, again, it was the eight of, uh, eight of wands, and the seven of wands, and both of these, um, I see as something um, work-related, okay, where uh, you need to learn to uh, stand your ground and things are uh, things going to be happening at a fast pace at work. Uh, so be prepared for that. Changes that may uh, going to be coming, going to be quick. And so you need to be ready for that. And again, the challenges, uh, some of the challenges, some of you may be um, kind of like placed in a corner and where you have to defend yourself. And now's the time to do it. And uh, stand up for you what you think is right um the six of cups is uh, more like on a personal note um it's a feeling that you're gonna have where um you know maybe you're in a kind of melancholy and you're thinking about better days and uh, reminiscing about the good old days and the uh, queen of cups is a reminder that uh when you're being honest uh, with others, you need to be honest with yourself. And finally, um, the last card uh, tells you to relax and enjoy yourself. Okay. So don't take yourself too serious. So in summary, um, there's going to be a mixture. Um, pretty good advice uh, throughout the uh, the week to kind of like balance things out. Um and hopefully this will help you in a coming week in meeting the challenges. Now, if you're interested in getting a full reading, and this is only a five card reading, and uh, the normal uh, readings can go uh, quite extensive. In fact, my New Year's uh, reading um, is actually four pages long and it's over 30 cards that I draw, <laughs> okay? Um, and that can go on for about an hour, hour and a half in a very detail. So I'm still doing that until the end of the month. And uh, my normal reading is a 15 card draw and we'll, uh, we could cover things dealing with your uh, finances, your personal issues, uh, anything that you want to discuss of having difficulty with, okay? Anyway, so this is the reading for uh, this week. And uh, if you have any questions or if you need a reading uh, from me at any time, you can contact me here on Facebook or my YouTube channel and I can respond and uh, or you can give me a call. 808-349-4788. That's my plug. <laughs> anyway, until next week. Um, you know, this is Dave Wallace coming from uh, coming to you from Waiwa, Hawaii. Uh, hoping all is well with you folks and you folks take care. Aloha. Hey.